Hello guys, welcome to another day in Sofia, Bulgaria. Today it will be an awesome day, I already feel it. And look at this beautiful place where we're gonna start our tour around Sofia. Well, I just arrived here at this impressive park with a name I can't pronounce but uh, it looks really impressive look at this very nice we have some nice sculptures over there so let's uh, take a closer look like we can see here some Soviet army fighters getting greeted by the local Bulgarians after liberating their country so a big celebration going on there and over there we also have another monument let's check it out as well I will walk a little bit faster <laughs> uh yeah so here I, it's i think it's uh, practically the same it's like the soviet fighters getting greeted by the bulgarians a little girl wanting to give some flowers a woman putting some flower on the chest of the freedom fighter yeah it's a really nice uh, place here the sculptures are really nice in detail and uh, over there the impressive monument 37 meter high built in 1954 so impressive it was actually built on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the liberation by the Soviet army yeah what an uh impressive sight it's actually quite a controversial monument as many Bulgarian people would like this monument to be removed I actually have no idea why maybe it has something to do with their past or wanting to move closer to the West if you are Bulgarian and you know why they want this to be removed just leave it in the comments let's take a closer look now Like here we can see some uh, Soviet fighters, I guess. With this. A man throwing a grenade there. Those statues are very nice, to be honest. With eye for detail or red eyes in that case <laughs> okay. you can play some ping pong here as well okay. believe it or not I was actually quite good in this game when I was uh, younger <laughs> Well, this is something I really like, you know, these uh, outside gyms, you know, very small one, but it's nice. They should have more of those in uh, Belgium, to be honest. Maybe I would be more slim then. <laughs> oh yeah, and look, nice sculptures. Oh, look at that bird there. Hello, hippo. <laughs> wow I just love to have a nice morning walk in some park it's always a great way to start the day
wow it's so busy here in the morning and uh, here in this uh, beautiful building we have the University of Sofia or actually the main building of the University of Sofia founded in 1888 and uh, look at this magnificent building amazing it's actually the largest the oldest and highest ranked university in all Bulgaria so let's take a closer look unfortunately it was not possible to visit the University of Sofia but like you can see here they have like two statues in front of the building and uh, it's actually two statues of the Georgiev brothers because of their financial support they could actually build this building which was the start of the University of Sofia and uh, until this day they still have their statues in front of the main building yeah so sad we could not enter it but like most places you can only enter when you're a student and I'm way too old for that now <laughs> Here we have the monument to the Tsar Liberator, built in honor of Russian Emperor Alexander II, who liberated Bulgaria from Ottoman rule during the Russo-Turkish War. And uh, it's really an impressive sight. Look at this. Amazing. Like every monument here, so nicely made with the sculptures. So nice. I just arrived here at the stunning Bulgarian Orthodox Cathedral, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Just look at this, so beautiful. So the cathedral was actually built on the occasion of the liberation of Bulgaria during Ottoman rule. And of course for the soldiers who died during the Russo-Turkish war and uh, it's such an amazing sight the construction of the cathedral actually started in 1882 so it's not that old to be honest so you can clearly see here why this is Sofia's main attraction here this place is huge it can hold like 5,000 people inside, I think. And uh, if you look at this, just look, it's like so massive, you know. It's actually one of the largest Eastern Orthodox cathedrals in the whole world. So let's see if we can take a look inside probably it's not allowed to take photos or film inside but uh, who knows maybe we can try have a little peek or something when nobody is looking <laughs> the first thing i notice beside the darkness is the beautifully decorated central chandelier which weighs 2500 kilograms also the interior of the church is magnificent decorated with italian marble onyx and alabaster wow this is a stunning place well that was actually a nice visit it was uh, quite dark inside but uh, i could manage to get some footage there i don't know how it will be on camera but we will see about that uh, like they said in the beginning there's no filming or photo allowed but if you pay some laughs they allow it anyway so <laughs> I really can't believe how beautiful this church was decorated inside with the gold, the mosaics, the marble, stained glass windows, you name it, you have it. And oh, 
the amazing chandeliers how I can forget that I can really see why this is one of Sofia's number one attractions and a must visit for sure when coming here in Sofia let's go on our way now to the Saint Sophia church it's over there Have you ever wondered where the name of Bulgaria's capital came from? Well, it's actually from this beautiful church here, the Saint Sophia Church. Let's take a look inside. So that was a very nice visit to the Saint Sophia Church during one of the services there. They even have an underground museum where you can visit like uh, an ancient Acropolis where uh, you can find uh, graves of people buried there from the 2nd till the 4th century. You can see some old ruins from previous churches, mosaic floors. Uh, yeah, if you want you can check it out. I think it's uh, really nice the entrance fee was six left which is not that expensive but again if you want to make pictures or make a video you pay 15 left more so you pay like uh, three times the price to to just <laughs> make a photo <laughs> or a video which uh, is really ridiculous to be honest but okay it's actually so nice to walk around here in Sofia in this amazing city full of history inhabited like 7,000 years ago it's really amazing just uh, see the magnificent architecture all around you walk over this cobblestone streets yeah I love it here in Sofia when I came here at first I actually didn't expect it's gonna be so nice but it's really beautiful and here you can buy some artwork as well yeah I love it come to Bulgaria yeah they really have some nice paintings over here like for example this some of the landscapes here in Sofia as well very beautiful and over here we have also some beautiful paintings as well hello ah uh, hello sir how are you <laughs> very good then you yeah i'm fine thank you thank you uh, so this is all yours yeah, yeah. oh really uh, uh see it's a work of 15 different iconographers uh, it's not all mine uh, because it's uh, for, uh, for one it's need uh, very much time to do oh really yeah, yeah, yeah. very much uh, not only time but patience uh, it's average one it's made according to old tradition uh, oh. this is one of the most oldest traditions in Bulgaria uh, to paint icons uh, we call it the right icons because it's different uh, from, from example to paint some painting so all these are hand painted by 15 15 different art artists. artists from Bulgaria all over the Bulgaria they work and send me the items here some of them do this more than 30 years it's uh, they uh, years before uh, starting to paint icons they study it's oh. it's a studying of a process how to make exactly the, the icon also the history of the saints symbolism of the icon because it's so much of spiritual symbols uh, it's uh, you know the art stuff it's just the surface just the beginning and then it's so much more to yeah. uh, about I love to hear you talk about it you feel so passionate about it and I, I love that I love that I, I'm very passionate. yeah yeah I'm very passionate with this this is my way of the heart you know it's, yeah uh, uh, I started to paint icons uh, before uh, something like 
12 years. 12 years? 12 years. It's not so much time. Uh, before this I was a uh, painter. I paint uh, paintings, different kind of paintings. But uh, uh, I started to paint icons with blessing of one of the most Bulgarian and one of the most special, special Bulgarian saint. This is the patron saint of Bulgaria, Saint John of Farilo. The story is very special. The story of uh, Saint John is very special. He lived in 10th century after the Christ here in Sofia. In this period of time, this was a part of Byzantine Empire. Uh, and the name of Sofia was Serdica, maybe you heard. Yes, yes, Serdica. the ancient... Uh, yeah. yeah. It, tragically, all of his family was killed. And uh, this radically changed his uh, all of his, uh, you know, everything. This all mindset his, and... Uh, everything, yeah. The, the view of life and everything. And he decided to go outside of this life and he go in one of the most beautiful mountains of Bulgaria, Rila Mountain. It's uh, also it's one of my. I've been there. Like I've been there before. Yeah, a few uh, days ago. If it's you so be beautiful. In Rila Monastery. I've been there. Yes. In Rila Monastery. Yeah. Uh, the Rila Monastery. It's uh, it's it's exist because of the Saint John. Yeah. Because uh, after many healings, uh, uh, the monks came and. Uh, around uh, St. John of Rila and start to build Rila Monastery. Uh, the story it's, it's uh, continue with he go and find one cave, little cave. It's very close yeah, to the Yeah, it's Rila close Monastery. to the Rila and he lived yeah. there without and any possessions and anything. Yeah. Without anything and after long years of living uh, he uh, purified himself so much and uh, the God just, uh, uh, you know, yeah. uh, came in, into him and started to, you know, to make miracles. To say something about the icons, every each one, in every each one, like I said, it's very, very long process. And you may see every each one uh, have wooden part, then canvas. Yeah. Uh, after canvas, it's four layers of gesso. Uh, after just we polish very very fine this gesso and paint with tempera and oil also we use oil and golden leaf oh, wow. here and in the end we put four layers of very strong lacquer and uh, what I mean it's uh, every one will last so much in time this is not some souvenir works yeah it's, uh, something that will last so much in time this is one of the ideas that uh, uh, it's How long does it take to make it? It depends from the most little size. Uh, this is the medium size. Yeah. I have smallest, but uh, three days for three to one month. How much, for example, does a big one cost and a medium, or you have different thank, thank price? Thank you for the the questions. It's uh, it's uh, for Bulgaria. It's very good price. Uh, see this medium size, there are canonic classical sizes, uh, what you see, this medium size it's only 20 Bulgarian laps, this is oh. 10 in euros. Yeah, that's not and much, that's not it's, much. It's not much for uh, such a kind of work, this will last yeah. one life a cat. And then this size it's 40 lava, this is 20 in euros, this size it's 100 lava, here this size is... These and ones? These ones, it's uh, what it's in my heart the most. This is the this iconographer painted with very in very special way. Uh, he used the most smallest brushes like needles and loop magnified glass. And uh, if you this for example, it's one of my favorite Virgin Marys from Bulgaria. It's very typical Bulgarian one from Marilla Monastery. Yeah, the biggest monastery. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Yes. Uh, but many many of uh, another. Colleagues uh, that I have uh, paint this icon, but not in this way. The, the, here, it's it's the way, the energy, the spirit that he put in the, his icons. It's, he made one very long time, very much more than uh, another, uh, and it's the most difficult to paint. It's uh, if you want just to see something yeah. there, because I will explain you something here. See, it's not only that it's very beautiful and soft, warm faces. Uh, it's with little smiles 
and this is loving caring virgin mary the symbol of this icon this is the most powerful icon like symbol it's for health for luck for uh, protection of home family the most precious and good things in life yeah thank you so much thank you thank you yeah thank you <laughs> such a nice guy it's uh, amazing here in Sofia so many friendly people uh, the atmosphere is so nice yeah let's continue our walk now <laughs> <laughs>